Good morning, Lyman. I'm Miss Goodrich. And I'm Eloy. And we're going to bring you today's show. Attention seniors, the time has finally come to leave your mark on Lyman. Join us this Friday, August 18th at 6 p.m. in Legacy Hall for Senior Paws on the Wall. After you leave your handprint, be sure to join the student section for our first home football game. Attention Greyhounds, the first football game is finally here. Join us in the stadium Friday night at 7 p.m. for Lyman's Football Kickoff Classic against Colonial. Remember, it's Football Friday all day, so be sure to dress out in your best Hawaiian attire for school and for the game. Show up, show out, and let's beat the Grenadiers. Hello, Lyman High School. It is the start of another great Greyhound school year. Summer has been long, and some of you may be looking to get back into shape. Running is great conditioning for all sports, and cross country is in season now. There are no cuts. Everyone makes the team. Come join Lyman Cross Country tonight at 6.30 p.m. by the track. Contact Coach Rivera for more details. See you then. Any student who missed the meeting for the fall play Frankenstein may come by to pick up an ap application in the theater classroom, building 8, room 18, at any time this week. Reach out to Ms. Gerdman with any questions. Chess Club will be meeting on Tuesdays after school in Mrs. McDermott's room, building 4, room 18. It's my turn. That's a change to the Chess Club if you went this week. Ms. McDermott is taking it over, so make sure you go to the right room next week. The first meeting of the Asian Social Club is next Tuesday, August 22nd from 2.30 to 3.30 in the Japanese classroom, which is building three, room two. The only requirement for joining is an interest in Asian culture, including music, food, videos, and so on. Students, remember next Wednesday is your picture day to get your student pictures done. Um, they also are used for your ID, so you need to make sure you get over there with your English class. It'll be done during your English class. Um, your teachers will escort you over, you'll have your picture taken, and then you come back. Also, seniors, there is one day only, Friday, August 25th, that Katie Studios will be on campus to take your senior portraits. If you haven't gotten a chance to go to this studio or have no way to get there, please go to katie.com forward slash schedule and choose your time. You must have a scheduled appointment. Make sure you put your location as Lyman High School and not Katie Studio. Um, hey, Greyhounds. Homecoming court nominations open on Monday the 21st and run through Friday the 25th of August. Make sure you nominate your favorite Greyhounds in your class eCampus page. So all, seat, all students should be members of their class eCampus page. You should see it on eCampus. And the homecoming court nominations are students that you nominate to represent your class during homecoming week on the court. So freshmen will have a couple there, sophomores will have a couple, junior will have a couple, and then seniors will have multiple couples who will be up for the king and queen. Pay attention closely because homecoming is fast approaching and we're going to have a lot of announcements regarding the activities that week. Okay, I think I'm done. I'm done. That's it for today, Lyman. Have a great day. Imagine having to take a test on a subject that you have never studied. It would be difficult. That is why we do lockdown drills. While we hope the test or actual emergency never comes, we want you to be ready and we want you to be alert. The system we use to help us be ready is called ALERT. ALERT stands for Assess, Lockdown, Evade, Resist, and Tell. Our lockdown drills? help us to practice the alert system. Lockdown drills typically take place while you are in a classroom. During the drill, follow the teacher's instructions. In an actual emergency, your teacher is trained to assess the situation and determine the safest course of action. During the drill, the teacher may discuss or practice ways to lock down the classroom to prevent entry. This includes locking the door and possibly using desks to form a barricade or even tying off the door handle to make it harder to open the door. Another important step in the lockdown is moving to areas inside the locked classroom where you cannot be seen from the hallway. While the drill may take place in the classroom, sometimes the safest course of action in an emergency is to leave the building. While this is obvious in a situation like a fire, it can also be true if there is a dangerous person inside of the school. A teacher may direct you to run or exit the building, but if you are alone, you do not need permission to evade someone that you believe is dangerous. If you do need to evacuate from the school and are not with a teacher, we ask that you tell what happened, where you are, and that you are safe. 
This can include calling 911 or going to a nearby safe place. The reason we have to do these drills is obviously very concerning, but the drill itself should not be. If a lockdown drill causes you any concern or anxiety, please let a teacher, counselor, or school administrator know. Drills are practice, which help us better respond to an emergency we hope never happens. You can help us keep emergencies from happening. If you ever see or hear something that causes you a concern for your safety or the safety of others, please say something. Your concerns will be taken seriously. Thank you for your attention and your help in making our schools even safer and more prepared. Dear Greyhounds, we are thrilled to invite you to the blood drive on August 24th. Did you know that donating blood can save lives in our community? Every day, patients in hospitals and emergency rooms rely on blood transfusions to recover from illness and accidents. A single blood donation can help up to three patients, giving hope to individuals and their families during challenging times. Worried about eligibility? Don't be. Most healthy individuals age of 16 or older can donate blood. Signups will be during both lunches from the 17th to the 22nd. Together, let's save lives one donation at a time.